Hello everyone, today I will show about how to calibrate the servo on robotic arm. Open Yabom robot app and connect to robotic arm. Click the robotic arm setting icon to enter robotic arm setting page. Click servo calibration icon to enter guide servo calibration page. First, we need to click middle icon. We can see robotic arm will keep upright. Then, we need to click Calibrate to close the torque of the servo. We need to manually set the robot arm in a vertical state. And the clamp of number 6 servo is clamped. Let's calibrate the number 1 servo at the bottom. Number 1 servo determines the direction of the robotic arm, so we need to adjust it to the middle position. Number 2, number 3 and number 4 servo need to be set to the vertical state. Number 5 servo control rotation angle of clamp, we can set the clip in the straight ahead position. Number 6 servo is used to control the clamp, we need to set the clamp in a closed state. Pinch this position. Do not pinch the top end of the clip. After the manual calibration is completed, click the Calibrate button on the app. When 1-6 circles become green, it indicates that the robotic arm be configured successfully. Click OK and Back. Then, we can start robotic arm. Find Action Group icon, enter this page. Choose Fixed Action Group 1, click Run. Place a block on the map and let the robotic arm clamp it. If we found that the robotic arm can't accurately clamp the block on the map, According to this situation, we have to calibrate the robotic arm again. In the actual test, we can know that the robotic arm shifts to the left when clamping, so we need to adjust the servo angle of the robotic arm to the right. Enter Guide Servo Calibration page again. Click Middle. Click Calibrate. Turn the angle of number 1 servo slightly to the right. Other servos are also set according to previous requirements. After the manual calibration is completed, click OK and Back. Find Action Group icon, enter this page. Choose Fixed Action Group 1, click Run. Place a block on the map and let the robotic arm clamp it. At this time, we can find that the robotic arm can grip the block accurately, but cannot place it in the correct area. So we need to calibrate the robotic arm again for the third time. Enter Guide Servo Calibration page again. Click Middle to set robotic arm back to upright state, then click Calibrate. We continue to manually adjust the servo. Click Calibrate, OK, and Back. Find Action Group icon, enter this page. Choose Fixed Action Group 1, click Run. Place a block on the map. 
If we find that the clamp does not clamp the block accurately, which means we didn't calibrate number 6 servo. Let us calibrate again. Click, stop, and back. Enter, guide, servo calibration, page again. Click, middle, to set robotic arm back to upright state, then click, calibrate. We continue to manually adjust the number 1 to number 6 servo. Pinch the clip. Click, OK, and back. Find, Action Group, Icon, enter this page. Choose Fixed Action Group 1, click Run. When this effect is achieved, it means that we have completed the calibration of the servo. In addition, we need to ensure that the suction cup at the bottom of the robot arm is completely sucked onto the desktop, and we can press the suction cup. If the suction cup is too high, the robotic arm will not be able to clamp the block normally. Let us test it again.